Hello guys, it's Shinkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel and I made a video before today with uh, the new video codec from AMD that seems to to um, to be patched now for the RDNA 3 cards and will most likely uh, come to the other cards, to the RDNA cards, at least the RDNA cards, okay, the 5000 series and the 6000 series um, and now we have this, this is a bomb finally and I repeat finally we have MSRP prices for the new Intel GPUs and I if you know me if you know me correctly at least you know that I am not a fanboy of anything but my own pocket but I have to admit that that I haven't been so excited in a long time and due to the Intel GPUs the first reason is competition competition is really really important okay it is really important uh, because it makes it makes prices go lower it makes the other competitors evolve uh, and that's we why we all need competition and not a monopoly or a duopoly like we have now on the GPU side okay so that's a very nice thing and I'm I'm always eager to test new softwares to test new architectures how they overclock how they undervolt how they perform in, ter in terms of power draw I love those things okay so I'm really excited for the new Intel CPUs okay now before going into the news to the actual news let's just have a brief word from our sponsor today's video sponsor is GVG Mall where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products making a Windows 10 serial key only $16 after the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. So, Intel Arc graphics ready for showtime. A750, A580 and the A380. So the leaks that we had before were actually of the A770, so we also have that one and we will most likely have the, the A780, okay? So according to the news, our friends in Taiwan told us that Intel held a call for some of its supply chain members a week ago and revealed some final details about its upcoming Arc launch. Now, Intel Arc GPUs get the initial lineup leaked, A750, A580 and A380. So yeah, basically that's the same. We have details of all SKUs, I like to call it SKUs, instead of like SKUs, SKUs it's so fun, if you're retarded like me. <laughs> anyway, we have details of all SKUs launching in the near future, Intel will be going in a staggered launch, this first salvo will consist of three GPUs, two of which will launch together and one will come weeks later. The initial launch will consist of the A750 and the A580, followed then by the A380 a few weeks later. The A780 flagship will not be launching in the first salvo, so basically yes, we have the A780 like I told you, the, the, and we also have the A770, at least supposedly. Interestingly, this time Intel did not reveal a concrete sales embargo date to its partners but instead revealed a range, with the exact embargo date for every SKU being communicated separately after launch. So as for the details of the GPUs, we have the A750, A580 and A380, okay? So the A750 is comparable to the RTX 3060, and we have an MSRP of $350, okay? If we go right here to Newegg, for example, Newegg, we can see these cards, sorry, we can see, for example, the RTX 3060. We can get them now because the prices, the prices are kind of down now. Uh, so we can get one for, let's say, $469. Yeah, it seems that that's okay, $400. $400, that's what we get, yeah, the cheapest one is $400, and this is this one, okay, so the cheapest one is $400 that we can get right now, now, if Intel actually manages to at least maintain the MSRP prices, if these prices are real, of course, if they actually maintain these prices and it performs at least, um, at least equal or a bit better than the 3060, it is certain 
and I repeat, it is certain that it will sell well. At $350, it is more or less uh, from 50 to $100 less than the current prices of the 3060. And at the same time, you have a new thing to test, you have a new GPU. It's, it's exciting. People liking new things and people that like Intel, Intel fanboys, will absolutely uh, go for an Intel GPU instead of buying an NVIDIA or an AMD one, okay? So that's a thing. Then we have the 580, which is comparable to the 3060, to the 3050, sorry, at 280. And this is actually the best deal, in my opinion, for budget gamers, because we have 280 and 30, uh, 3050, and if we go here to the 3050, let me see the prices. We have them, yes, the minimum one, let me just see, the minimum one is, oh, this is a piece of shit, I, I don't want this, but the minimum decent one is $329, okay, $329, while here you have for $280, if, once again, if these prices are real, and if they can maintain the MSRP, the MSRP at least in America, okay, but if the A580 comes to Europe, with these prices of 280 euros, even if it is 300 euros, it will sell well. For example, in Portugal, the prices for the RTX, the RTX 3060, 3050, sorry, for the RTX 3050 are really, really insane. So as you can see, 380 euros. 370 euros, 370 euros is actually the cheapest 3050 that you can get in Portugal, which is insane. While you can get the 3060 for 100 euros more, okay? So for 100 euros more, you get the 3060, which is way better than the 3050. So it makes no sense. From the 200 to 300 euros, you only have two options. Basically the 6500 XT and the 6600 XT. And a bit over that, you have the 3060 and the 6600 XT. So if Intel actually manages to do things properly, well, these two, at least these two will sell. And at 150, the 1650 performance is also a thing that will sell well, at least in the times uh, we live in right now, because at $150, I mean, the 6500 XT should be $150. So, I mean, you know what I mean. Uh, and we have the sales embargo for the ARC for desktop. We have uh, from May 15th to June, to June 30th, okay? Intel also told its partners that drivers are imp improving rapidly and they should expect to see continuous improvement in performance after launch, like the AMD's fine wine, okay? So it's, it's normal because it's a new architecture and they are still working on drivers and like AMD, the drivers will get better and better and the GPUs will definitely perform better after some time, okay? So that's a very nice thing, okay? Guys, I, I know that there's not really much more to say. Basically, it's just a leak of the prices and me talking all the time. But I mean, I'm really excited. Just let me know what you think in the comment section if you're excited to get to get a new GPU of these, if you actually need a new GPU and, you're, and you are considering Intel or not. Or if you just want to buy one, at least the cheapest one to test, to test the, the control software from Intel, the Intel Arc Control if you just want to see how they overclock, if you want to see how they perform, because I'm really eager to see that. And it would be very nice if Intel actually sent me one card, but let's be real, that's not gonna happen, at least for now. But yeah, yeah, really excited, guys. So that's all for today's video, for today's second video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share it, because that really helps a lot. Um, and yeah, I mean, if these GPUs actually come in 15 days, then in two weeks or 15 days, two or three weeks, then you can come to this channel because I will be definitely, definitely, and I repeat, definitely reviewing these cards, okay? Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.